But I want to just briefly talk to you about why we sing. The joy of what we have come to gather this morning is to hear the wonderful news of Jesus Christ, our King. We often think about Christmas being all about lights and music and the festivity of the time. We might even talk about the joy and the love of having our family with us. But I want to say that Christmas is much more than that. Christmas is very different than what you hear around the world. Today, you've heard the true meaning of Christmas and why these songs are sung at this time of year and the joy that we have in our hearts. You've heard about the miracle that God would perform for us, that he would send his son, that he would make an announcement in scripture that he would come on our behalf. And that's what makes Christianity different than all of the other religions in the world. You've heard that God has said he would dwell among us and his name, even his name tells us that God would dwell in our midst and be with us as a people. Other religions tell us that God or the gods of the world are great distance from us, that we can't even mingle with them, that we are not worthy of being in their presence. And so we learn about the distance that's between mankind and God. And the only way that we can be accepted by God is by performing and by doing something in order to please him. Those religions tell us that we have to save ourselves and we have to work our way toward heaven. And maybe you've been on that journey trying to make peace with God or trying to find a way that you would find him acceptable or him accepting of you. And so you've performed, you have gone and done something uh, out of your own performance and self-righteousness. So we're always doing something in order for the God or gods to accept us. And the problem is that we never really know if we've done enough in order to be in his presence. Maybe you've been trying to do that with God. You have been running from him. Maybe you've looked at your own goodness. You've tried to be a good person at work. You've tried to do your best at being a good citizen in your community by helping out those charities and those that are in need. You've given to the Salvation Army when you walked out of Target. Those types of things you've tried to say maybe to the Lord that this is a, a peace offering in that sense. You've tried to be nice to those around you. You've been consumed by your doing. Christianity tells a very different story. It tells us that Instead of trying to reach God by our doing, God came down to do everything that was possible for us that we could not do for ourselves. And he sent his son to take on flesh and dwell among us. And this was no ordinary birth, as you've heard the songs that have been performed this morning and the joy of those messages that we've heard. Instead of trying to do good to please God, Jesus lived a perfect life so that we would be accepted by God. And this is what makes Christianity very different than everything else that you hear. God would come down out of heaven instead of us trying to make our way there ourselves. And Jesus would do everything necessary for us to be made right with God. He has not, uh, we have now enjoyed the presence of the Lord. We now feel distance from him when we have not had a relationship with Jesus Christ. And we've been running away from him and wanting him to be the king of our own castle, wanting to be the one who's in charge of our life, we say, Lord, we don't want to have your restraint on us, but he's been calling you, he's been giving you a message, and he sent a baby to Bethlehem that one day he would mount a cross so that he would take away the offense that's between God and man. We see God doing the rescuing here, not us rescuing ourselves. And he would take our place on the cross and nail our sin there once and for all so that we would be made right with God. And that was the price of our sin, that he would send a son to die in our place, and we have a, a Lord who allowed his own son to suffer on our behalf. So the Christmas story is just the beginning of a wondrous story of what is continuing to be told right now for all the ages to hear that God has done a miracle in the sending of his son in a baby in Bethlehem. He has sent him to be our savior and our redeemer. And that's why Christianity is so important to us and our faith because of the message that we have heard and we believe in and then we proclaim in our life. And when you heard about the angels proclaiming the good news in Jesus Christ, the response of the shepherds was to go and to wander and to come to that cradle and they would bow and worship. 
And then the story also tells of the wise men that would come and they too would offer gifts for this little child who was born. And we see all of the response would be those who would fall on their knees and bend and worship to them. So today he's calling you to himself. He's proclaiming the same message that he proclaimed 2,000 years ago to the shepherds that would hear. He's proclaiming that same message to you in this room this morning. All you have to do is receive this great gift. That's how simple it is. And so I invite you this morning to come and know this baby as your Lord and Savior for one who would offer his life for you to reclaim you and to rescue you and bring you back to the Lord. And I believe it will bring you the true and most great satisfaction in your life. And he calls you to stop running and calls you to come home. And the Lord will welcome you this morning into his kingdom. And the people of God will continue to worship him all the days that we have upon this earth where we believe that he's coming again. And that he will establish his kingdom and every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So we invite you to him this morning that you would hear his call and that your heart would receive him. Jesus came into the world for you. And it's our prayer that you would find him today. And if you are seeking and trying to understand this God in a few weeks time, starting January 15th, we will be starting a preaching series entitled uh, under, or Seeking Understanding. We'll be talking about those difficult questions. Why is there suffering in this world if there's a good God in this world? Is Jesus the only way to heaven? And we'll be asking those questions and seeking understanding for we believe that in Jesus Christ we find our meaning and purpose. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the joy in our hearts this morning of hearing this beautiful music, for the talent that we have been able to witness this morning in the musicians and the choir. We are grateful. For we know that every gift is a gift from your hand and the joy of this season is truly found in you and you alone. So we pray for those that are here this morning who may not know you, but that you would receive them into your kingdom, that their hearts would be open to reception of your son, Jesus Christ, just as we've seen in the lives of people throughout the generations for over 2,000 years, we have proclaimed this truth. So we pray that you would do your work among us and your Holy Spirit would move in our hearts today. For your glory's sake we pray, amen.